What's up? It's your DIY contractor here, and today I'm going to show you how to diagnose your furnace if it's just blowing cold air. So stay tuned. So here we have a furnace that's working but not blowing any hot air. So the first thing we want to do is take a look inside your peak hole here and what you're looking for is a blinking light and you want to count how many times that light is blinking that's going to be your trouble diagnostic code light so if you don't see it so the next step we'll do is turn the furnace off which is going to be a power switch near your furnace and we're going to remove the door And with the door removed, you can turn the furnace back on. And your door switch is here. So you can activate your door switch. And the red light you see is the one that you'll be looking for. As you can see, we're getting four blinks. So that's the trouble code we're gonna be looking for. So that's what you're looking for on your furnace. One, two, three, four. So you can release your door switch. And inside your door panel, You're gonna look for the code, which is here, and it says four flashes. You got an open primary or auxiliary limit. So we're gonna look for those switches and your limit switch. You have a one here. Let's get the light around here. You have one limit switch here, which is here. That's a limit switch there. And you also have a limit switch. You can follow the lines that run from it. So you can see this purple line runs into that limit switch and back out. And then you can follow that line. And it goes to so you can follow this purple switch and your other limit switch is actually behind your gas valve so you have another limit switch that's see if you can see it it is back there on that brown box that's your limit switch so that's your other one so we're gonna Test this one, and one way to test it, you can either bypass it, or you can jump it, or you can test it. So, on this limit switch, you can see it has a reset button. So you would push this in to reset it, and we can try that first, or we can just bypass it to see if that was the problem. So, we're gonna push it in, just to see if it'll reset itself. And then we'll push the door switch again. Yes. Yeah, 
tell us that that switch either needed resetting or needs replacing. So we're going to remove that switch and replace that switch. So you can see there's no light blinking and everything is working fine. So since we've diagnosed that switch needs to be replaced, turn off your furnace and we're gonna remove that switch. And the way you do it, if you can see on the side, you slide this plate back and it's made like this that goes around the switch. And pull it out and that's what it's made of and you remove your terminals from here and what you're going to look for is the reading on the side and that's the side switch you want to get and then you replace that switch so this is what we'll be replacing. And that's it. So don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and hit the notification for more upcoming videos. We'll talk to you later. So that solves that problem. If your furnace is blowing out cold air, you can check your limit switch. And the one we replaced was this one here. And if you can look on it, you can see it says L160. That's the limit switch at 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And what happens with it, as it resets or overheats, it pops in. And what we did is when we pushed it in the bottom, we reset it. So see if you can hear. So that's, so what happens is once it resets or overheats, it's pushed in or it sucks in. And then what we did is we reset it from the bottom. And that's what you hear. So from the top, that means it's not working. And then it has a reset for the bottom. So like I said, this one is a 160 with a manual reset switch on the back. And what we replaced it with was a 160 that has an auto reset. So this is the newer one. And same setup same style just doesn't have the reset on the bottom so if you have the older one that has the reset on the bottom then that's what you just push that in and reset it but this one will reset on its own so one of the first things to check if your limit switch needs resetting check your um, air filter that means it's not getting enough air across the the vents so once that reach 160 degrees, it's gonna reset. So make sure you change your air filter if you need to reset it, and that's possibly your cause. So don't forget to help me build this channel and hit that like button and subscribe and hit the notification for more upcoming videos like this. We'll talk to you later.